as well. Right, there's the church, St Peter and St Paul. I'm in the village of Overstowy and <coughs> good job I had a little wander because um, of course someone's having a bonfire because here is the um, this parsonage farm over there, look, it does bed and breakfast. It's just a little tiny cemetery here, look. A little bit of extra. The overspill. And an old cross as well. We've got Henry Palmer, 30th of April, nine, is that 1906, age 79. Elizabeth, the beloved wife. Died 1899, age 63. It's just as you come in there, there's more going up, look. Selleck, David Selleck, Edwin Selleck, Elizabeth Rowe Hitchens, Elizabeth Selleck, Nellie Beer. That's obviously a little family that Oh, Amelia Bear, their daughter. She died 1893, age 35. David Selleck, he was 82 when he died in 1896. And Elizabeth was 82 in 1902. Selleck, yeah, that sounds quite a Somerset name, actually. Oh, well, this is a bit of bonus. I can see a bit of Somerset as well over there. Yeah, something told me just to have a little wander before just going straight back. Cavell. More Palmers. Palmer is such a common name. In, um... William Crofton Hemmons. He died 11th of March, 1915. And Blanche Rachel, his wife, she died 25th of August, 1905. I've got a great big Celtic cross one up here. John Lovell Herman, September the 9th, 1846 to December the 18th, 1911. It's a great big cross, isn't it? And there's this one, Susanna, wife of the late William Appleby of Manchester, July the 17th, 1933. And Maud Helen, daughter of William and Suzanne Appleby. She died in 1956. It's a big, big, big piece of granite, isn't it? <sighs> Looks like it might be the same. They might be related, that lot. God, look at that strange looking mushroom then. Look how camouflaged that is. It's a weird one, isn't it? Of course, it's going to bring on me A fever, not me A fever, me asthma, that smoke. Well, we've just better get round before I start having a flipping asthma attack. <coughs> who have we got here? In love and memory of Sophia Venn, who entered into rest 21st of March 1892, age 72. It is good to record. I expect someone else has done it, record them, because once they get taken down, that's it usually. There would have been a lot more in here. Yeah, once they disappear. Oh my god, that smoke. <sighs> this will be more recent ones. I'm looking because you never know when someone's going to turn up. <sighs> you never know. It's happened to me when well, I've been in a massive graveyard and a member of the family's been in, buried in there. <sighs> Look, there's some um, great wood up there. That's great wood in front of me. 
And I can see a hawk in a bush over there. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in on it. He's just perched on top of that bush. That, or is that a pigeon? Or is it a wood pigeon? Takes a nice picture though, doesn't he? Well, it's been well worth it today. Got enough to keep me going for ages. It's a good start. It's almost as if I'm leaving West Bagborough for when I walk to it. More riches. Webbers. Cook. Mm. What a lovely, peaceful setting. Lovely, isn't it? Apart from the smoke, everyone's burning because you can't be washing out on day like this, can you? God, that pigeon's keeping dead still. I'm wondering if it's real. Bloody hell. I used to like bonfires, but it sets me off. Sets my asthma off. So when we come to see do this video, we've got to remember that it's a bonfire here. We just have a little wander around while we're here. Because once I've been to somewhere, I do sometimes go back. If I have a, an improved camera, I sometimes do go back. Granfield, Tank Corps, 1918, Lance Corporal. One of my nieces, her, one of her great-grandfathers was in the Tank Corps in the First World War, but he survived it. That was a... That was torture, I should imagine, getting in them. Here we are, Lillian Maud Chapel. Or Chappelle, I don't know how you pronounce it. And Robert, or Charles Chapel, Bob. They died within two years of each other. I used to love the smell of bonfires, you know. <sighs> yeah, I did. Well, it's nice to have a little, a little bit of extended graveyard here. <sighs> Who's this? Albert. Oh, Jeffrey. Is it, is, it, is it Albert Jeffrey? Third son to J.H. <laughs> Looks like Bosley. Can't quite read it. That's a nice little... That must have been bigger, I reckon. That's just... Looks a bit uh, like it's... I'd lived a bit there. Zoom down there through the avenue to the cross. We've done very well today, Sheila. Very well. Yeah, we've got here Lucy, wife of the late James Hunt. We saw quite a few hunts in the other graveyard. She died 1912, aged 63. It's two years younger than me when she died. It's an unusual name. Charles. Is that a G? Gull Gulliverwell. Of Addiscombe over Stowe, he died suddenly, January the second, nineteen sixteen, aged sixty. And Emma Martha Culverwell. <sighs> Can't see when she died. I don't always do uh, a lot of graveyards now. I, I scan them very quickly. I just do the odd grave. Margaret Billingham, 1922 to 2011. She's up here in the corner. These are obviously villagers, I spat. Yeah, I will be coming back, so I need to explore Greatwood anyway. I did some um, orienteering there with Duncan and Jolene years ago when, when we were all in the army cadets. But... Um, the Triscombe Stone. I can park at the Triscombe Stone and then walk down to that village. That's going to be a day 
a day out doing that when I do West Bagborough. That will be a day out. All right, I'll look at these in a minute. Let's just go through here. This is obviously overfill for when the time comes. Look, they've probably got all this field mapped out for it. Probably got all this field mapped out. It's the house Martin's flight flitting about here. That's the big vicarage house over there, the big white building near the church. There's a the house Martin. Zoom in in and out. There's Great Wood, the, the pines of Great Wood over there, which I will be exploring another time. Because I haven't really been there for 20, 30 years. But, uh, yeah, there's plenty to do. Plenty to do over this way. <sighs> right, I'm going to turn off now and start taking photos, everyone. The belly's starting to get a bit hungry. I need my topic and whatever I've got in my bag. Crisp, toffee crisp, I think I got. I didn't bring a lot of food. Right, over and out.